Hello, everybody on YouTube. That's not how I start my videos. Uh, let's see. How do I start my videos again? Usually I say, so you want to be, but we're not doing a so you want to be. Wait, you? What do you mean, you? Wait, should I show chat? You guys want to be in the video? Oh, you can't even see that. Good evening, ladies. Hello, everybody. In today's video, I'm... Um, why is my webcam on? Oh, wait, it's not going to show up in the video. I forgot. Oh, oh my God. I forgot. I forgot. Okay. Um. <laughs> wait, yes. You want to be in the video? All right, hold on. Let me, let me fix my chat then. I don't know if this, I don't know if any of this part's getting in the video. Probably not. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Hello, everybody. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the Destiny revamp Buccaneer. So in first job, Somersault Kick got way better. The hitbox way larger, hits above your head. Really good. And it does maintain the quote-unquote iframes that it used to have. Yeah, we don't use Double Shot. Pirate Leap now has like a serpent theme to it. It's really cool. I'm going to cut you guys out. I am. I really am. Uh, Dash, pretty much still the same skill. Um, Well, actually, that was Advanced Dash, but you know what I mean. Then, yeah. Star uh, Shockwave. Looks pretty cool. <laughs> Tutorial speedrun? Absolutely. Advanced Dash is still lovely with a new animation as well. Oh, yes, yeah, so there's the new Dash. You can see it at my feet. No, it's Shockwave. Nobody should ever call this Static Thumper. It is Shockwave. Uh, yeah, and then. Everything else is basically passive. Or at least you can't put it on your keyboard. Uh, that's not true, because you can put this on your keyboard. Speaking of putting this on your keyboard, Sea Serpent is a toggle skill. When you turn it on... Say its real name? No. When you uh, turn it on, whenever you do, whether it's a mobbing skill or a bossing skill, I think they call it a, uh, a fighting skill, right? So whenever you do a purple skill, I'm just going to call it purple, because it's purple. Whenever you do a purple skill, a certain serpent attack will come out. In second job, you only get the long-headed serpent like that to improve your mobbing. I have no idea what chat's talking about. Ignore them. Ignore them. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, and you also get a vertical jump, which goes pretty high. And for those wondering... You can rope lift and then uh, vertical jump, or you can do the vertical jump. Well, okay, I can't show it right here. But you can also do the vertical jump and then rope lift. Well, okay, that was a bad showing of it. Here we go. Oh, God. I'll do it on this side then. Oh, goodness, what are you guys saying? There you go. It's not my birthday. Uh, let's see. Is that it? That's about it there. So rem rem bleh bleh. remember, purple skill, uh, a serpent skill will come out as long as this toggle is on. And then you also get uh, turning kick, which is just dual blades mobbing skill, but better. I shouldn't say better, but it it's pretty nice. And as you can tell, I have the voices on and they're pretty uh, meh. Uh, I mean, the voice acting's great. It's just not good on my character, because my character's very cute. Alright, uh, this just makes the long head, like, stronger. And then you get Roll of the Dice. Actually, let me show you the new animation, which does not apply if you have loaded dice on. Oh my god, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> what is my chat saying? So, uh, here's the new animation of loaded dice. Really fancy. But if you have, or not loaded dice, but uh, regular dice. But if you have loaded dice on, it's the old animation, which is sad. Um, so yeah, then you also get Serpent Scale. Now, what this is, is whenever you do a purple skill, you'll get a stack of it. Um, actually, there we go. So you get a stack. Once this hits five stacks, you go into what's called Assault Mode which allows you to summon one of two skills. So let's get it to five. One good hit. Uh, 
All right, so now that it's on five, because I have it on automatic, you can see that I'm in assault mode, this like blue thing. Um, so the next time I do a either a mobbing skill or a bossing skill that's purple, a bigger effect will come out. If you're doing a mobbing skill, or any skill that's not Octopunch, the Twin-Headed Serpent attack will come out. However, if you do Octopunch, then this skill will come out, which is like a turret kind of thing. It like stays in place and does damage over time. Um, you can also just not have it on auto, so that way when you get to five stacks... Um, when you get to five stacks, it'll allow you to choose uh, when to go into Assault Mode, or like when to summon the skill. So, now I'm at five... where is it? Five stacks. And you can see, even though it's going to keep spawning the uh, the head, it doesn't go any higher than that. But if I were to double-click this... Now I'm in Assault Mode. And then, uh, you know, there's the Octopunch version. So yeah. Pretty nice system. Uh, very easy to get used to. Rocky Mastery is probably my favorite change. 100% crit when bossing. Beautiful. And then, yeah, fourth job, you get Octopunch still. However, you can tell when I'm using Octopunch, it doesn't do that, like, the long distance head, like that, like that. It instead does a bite. So the bite is basically what replaces... It is not my birthday. <laughs> so, uh, when doing Octopunch, instead of getting the, like, head that, like, goes flying forward, you get the bite. And the bite replaces, um, Dragon Strike. Which is... Uh, this. So this replaces Dragon Strike. It's just automatic whenever you do Octopunch. As long as the uh, Sea Serpent skill, you can see there's like an orange like bar going around. So yeah. That's uh, your new Dragon Strike. And then, like I said, the Raging skill. That's about it. Nautilus, you don't have to cast this anymore because the passive is like the two extra hits. It's just passive now, so you don't have to use Nautilus anymore if you don't want to. Uh, Crossbones, you do still have to use. Time Leap has a new animation, looks really cool. Speed Infusion also looks cool. And that's about it for, like, you know, that stuff. Although, our Unity... Oh, okay, let me go over Simulate Conversation first. It's on cooldown. But basically, when you use it, um, it reduces the cooldown of... Uh, sea Serpent, as well as Lord of the Deep. What's going on with my stream? What's happening in stream? <laughs> um, sea Serpent Spirit, when you activate it, it gives you a buff. And then whenever you attack an enemy that is hit by the, like, bite, this bite right here, um, you get a stack of crit damage, or it gives you a crit 5% uh, crit damage. So I don't know if I can show that, because these enemies will not survive a hit. Uh, let me go, like, the Balrog or something. Yeah, it is still called Simulating Conversations. Wonderful. How lovely. Alright. So, the buff is still activated, as you can see up here. So, I now have the stack from the bite right here. So, whenever I hit the boss, it'll give me a stack of crit damage. And it'll refresh every time I hit the boss. As long as they have this debuff, it'll give me that. So, there you go. Now, I went back to 9. And also, if you do any skill that hits... So, in other words, as long as that stack is still there, even Lord of the Deep will, will uh, refresh it. I don't know why it went down here, but yeah. Even Lord of a Deep refreshes it, so that's great. And let's see. It has a 60 second cooldown, but it lasts for 90 seconds. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else can I go over? I guess fourth job. So Lord of the Deep. Even I don't fully 100% understand it, but I kind of do. If you're bossing, you can just keep Lord of a Deep out pretty much all the time. Oh my goodness. Oh, I never went over stimulating, right. So, oh no, I did, because, yeah, it reduces the cooldown of uh, the Serpent skills, including Lord of the Deep. So yeah, very good for burst. And... 
So fourth, fifth job skills, I mean. What used to be called Meltdown is now Lightning Form. You use it, and now you're in Lightning Form. You can still teleport. Pretty much think of it as Meltdown. It, it's basically just Meltdown. However, you see how the, the orbs move quickly. If you're uh, hitting a boss, or literally hitting any enemy with it, it'll actually slow down. So that it can get more hits out. So, very nice. Uh, Howling Fist, you can now cancel it early. So instead of going through the whole animation of its mouth being open, you can actually cancel it very early. In order to get the iframe. It also hits way harder and faster, or not faster, but more lines. Uh, Vortex, you now don't have to move when using it. You can actually do it stationary, which also cancels your momentum. So if you're moving forward and you do it, it'll just cancel your momentum. It also kind of like halts you in the air for a bit. So that's really helpful. Um, let's see. What else? What else? What else? And then Lord of the Deep. It's basically up 100% of the time, but it's... If you're not one-shotting or two-shotting enemies, then it probably won't be up 100% of the time. But when you're bossing, it's basically 100% up. Basically. And that's about it. You spell trace everything? Maybe. So, chat, what do you got to say to YouTube? Any Any... Final words for YouTube? I have no idea what they've been talking about this whole time. I've been, I've been ignoring, ignoring them. <laughs> oh no! At least it was fine. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Why though? I'm not your dad! Watch, I never hit record this whole time. <laughs> But yeah, that's basically it. Um, purple skills will activate um, the twin-headed dragon so that you can have bigger mobbing. And then Octopunch will activate the bite, or it'll activate the uh, the head that like does damage over time in a single spot. So the classes become way simpler. Like, way more simple. Oh my goodness. I do not. And yeah, that's about it for Buck. I mean, of course, I'll be doing a video later, which will uh, explain more. Like, I'll go in-depth on all these things, but I just wanted to get this video out, get it nice, showing stuff. And, um, yeah. That is not true. <laughs> I'm not even in Chibi Clan in the test server. <laughs> no more Super Saiyan? Yeah. No more Super Saiyan. But hey, if you ever want to go Super Saiyan... Hold on, give me a second. Oh, you know, I forgot to mention that if you want to move with uh, Vortex, you have to hold a direction. So if I want to move to the right, I have to hold to the right. If I want to go up, I have to hold up, and so on. But anywho, what was I going to say? Uh, if you want to, you know, transform, of course you can't attack. But there's a mount. Ooh, look at that, now I'm transformed. Wow! <laughs> Hey, I kind of forgot to show you guys the, uh, the super jump. That's not the super jump. I forgot to show it to you. There you go. So you can do the super jump and then vertical jump, and it goes even farther. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> no! I'm sorry, I forgot. I forgot to show it. I forgot to show it. There you go. So you can go really far with it. And of course, in the So You Wanna Be video, I'll, I'll show you how to do that. I'll, I'll like, go over it, I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry! Alright, goodbye, YouTube. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully I can turn this into something. But, uh, yeah. Now I'll have to edit that video later. I mean, I probably won't even edit it. I'll, unless some of you said something that I need to censor. There may be something that some of you said that I have to censor, but other than that, I think... I think it's fine to switch to Corsair now. No, it's the the, the video's over. They didn't see that you, you said you loved them. They didn't see that. <laughs> oh no, I should have extended the recording.